Hey, what's good, YouTube? We're back at it with some more Biomutant. So, last thing we went off, we went to out of date in that alien spacecraft thingamajig. Uh, hold on. Let me remove this. Yeah, so we met up with out of date, and, we was, and he was just telling us, like, yo, in case shit go down, we can leave all these niggas behind. We have our escape plan, but them other niggas not we can't bring everybody, bro. We can't bring everybody. Just be wary of that. It's Peekaboo Park. I was like, hmm. Love I sort of bet. Place. Just no real like uh that there's all damage. Subnautica station. Goop flounders around in there. So th yeah, that's what we finished, and we pretty much headed on to the next, uh, to the next, uh, main mission. Gear. No, it's not that. It's a character. Mutations. Upgrade resistance. I go out. Upgrade resistance is, like, top of my list right now. I'm doing everything I can to upgrade that, I hope. Need that teleport thing in my These are scarce. Don't waste them. Let's see. All right. Yango, Ajitawa, Katami Onya. Gulpo ain't the easiest tongue, but I think he says he's happy to see a friendly face. Not too many of those around these days. Says it's good to see you again. He's Goop. You might remember him from the old days when he tried to teach you how to swim. Where that nigga tried to throw me in the water. That was crazy. Goop says you were always so righteous as a child, and he can still feel it, even at a distance. Goop says memories fade surprisingly fast. He knows he's easy to remember. There's no one out there as cuckoo as him. He just he's said he that nigga. Nine. I'm sleeping. Goop says our memory keeps things for us and protects them until we are ready to face them again. He understands you've returned to face Lupa Lupin. That's the destiny you've been carrying within yourself all these years. Avanya. He says that the catastrophe back then didn't vanquish the good in you. It's still there, as bright as when you were a child. Now the time has come for you to remember and act. Your life is your life. Not the story you're told about. Rakia. He thinks that's the right thing to do. It's only when you have forgiven that you'll find peace. Love the glow of the light. No. Down. Down. Oh. All the way up. Crank that glow up to 11. I'll make you glow. Too late. Go wide. Says life on the goo is wide open. You have so many choices of where to go. Some harder than others, of course. Go wide. Hit the... Rapiki. Go wide. Can hardly believe the world is going to make it. Wonders what that's going to do to the goo. My no Thanks you. When I can work, go wide. Thinks the myriad made a good match with you. You're both like sunshine on the surf. Jaida. Never seen any brighter. Shine on. Tirab. But hey, back to the goo. Knows yesterday is already gone. It's what you do today and tomorrow that'll move you forward. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Subnautica station, as the pollution has worn down the insulation of his suit. So you must salvage enough scrap to fix up his goo glide, starting with the old wreck box outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the goo glide strong enough to fight the porky puff. 
It's not that it won't keep your head above the surface, but it needs improving to carry you across the thick goo out by the porky puff. We don't, I guess. I don't think we necessarily have to go far anyways. Which is pretty dope. Ready to roll? The day is calling. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Don't clean that shit out. Yes, sir. Of course, I'm going to find something. What that? Shooter. That is a... What is... Uh oh, it's a clip. I think it's about time for me to make a new gun, no cap. I found a circuit board puzzle. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Oh, okay, okay. It's one of these puzzles. Okay. Let's get a boofing. Let's get a boofing. Oh. Damn it. Something like that. Shit, I'm crazy. See any chests around here? Oh, no, no, I came out from there. Okay, I guess I'll just search around this area.
No cap, I don't like the dodge function in this game, man. Oh, he did. He died. A Google Glide parts box. These boxes can be found around the world. It contains parts for you to customize your Google Glide. But would it make it better? Okay. Okay. Energy pack. Okay. Out here popping pills and shit. That's crazy. Helmet that I, think I, I don't think I will ever use. Toxanol's offshore drilling caused oily matter to spread with the rest. You need to line up the switches so they match. Just a few moves left, make them count. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the act. What you do here matters to you and the world. Mukam! Sorry, got in another important phone call. But yeah, he's got the Google Glide functional. You have a pull hook in a salvage net, but no armor and an engine strong enough to break through the thick goo further out. What are these things? There's debris floating around on the surf that might be blocking your path or needs to be towed. Hmm. That means you'll need a device so you can get it out of your way. Goop says Gizmos devised a cannon for the Goo Glide, but instead of bullets, it flips quacks, squeaky distractions for the triple attentive Porky Puff, which will give you time to get yourself in position. The best way to find quacks is to talk to Gulp. He has the bearings of the Surfipelago and knows where the quacks like to float. This means you'll have the privilege of visiting Gulp in the Sinky Dink. He'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find quacks. That's where he bobs. Gulp refuses to move from that barge, despite the fact it makes him burf. Goop's not sure, though, if it's the surf sickness or the radium syrup that causes it. Hmm. Alright, so far in this game, I use normal movement controls to drive the Goo Glide. You can spread the speed of the Goo Glide by pressing left thumbstick. Customize the Goo Glide, jump on it, and call the mount. But yeah, so far in this game, everything everything is completely new to me at this point. Like, oh, okay. And then yeah so so far this game is completely like fresh to me like i, I beat jumbo place before i went towards the middle of the tree um right now like the the, the goo glide nah nah this this is all new to me you're already dripping wet hey yo what is he on about bro A huge ass fire over here? What the hell happened? You're poking around Pockburn, a prime village.
Nice. Talk to the village tribe member. Says the tribe Sifu sent them here to help defend against the rival tribe. Isn't sure how long the village will last if it continues. As if the plague ruining the land and destroying the crops wasn't it. It's troubling that the rivals believe their reign of terror is actually... The Sifu asked you to help, and that's... Damn. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing something. Oh, where's my boat? Oh, right there. Still over there chilling. Turned into a village tribe member. Oh, they fixed her back up. Just a random side quest, you know what I'm saying? Has no doubt you've earned the trust and support of this village. Actions speak louder than words. Oh, we need that. Uh, that's from Gears. Oh, the armor. I ain't gonna lie, that's a lot of armor. That, 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 that go crazy. I ain't gonna hold you. All right, so perks, perks. Pop a perk. Let me see. Mm-hmm. Thirty-three percent. I'm gonna do that. Level seventeen. One more level till I'm able to use that new weapon. Oh, that strong ass ultimate weapon. Let's see. Hey, Galah, that man looks sus as hell, bro. Why you look like that, bro? He's pretty sure he's heard of you before, although the details are maybe a little hazy. He wonders if you have something for him. Guesses he does, but it's a long life in a wild world. Sometimes he's shaken, not stirred. Says you look like you've got a powerful thirst to do something in this world. Good, bad, not really sure, but it seems like you've been drinking in your destiny and like whatever metaphor he's on about. Wonders if you could take the time to help a man slake his own thirst. You'd be doing him a liquid solid. You're a do-gooder, so you know you want to. How you know? How you know I do things? He hopes you find a way to wet your whistle before the world comes to an awful dry end and leaves us all thirsting for more. Sure, but that's nowhere near as quick and easy. Who wants to stop to chew? My man, don't, as big as you are, you don't eat? to you getting the world fixed up a bit. Respects how you always try to help, no matter that the world's fate is hard to swallow. Sees why you joined up with the Myriad. 
Says he sells them drinks. They mostly suck them down on their own. Hey, yo. But who cares about them? Says you'd be as bummed out as him if you came for the hot stuff. The glug mocker, Nimhim Bibble, and his favorite, Radium Syrup. That one's even more intoxicating now, aged in truck tankers and all. Without a drink, and radium syrup especially, he can't move, much less think, as the power of his mind is directly proportioned to the quantity of syrup he swigs. That's why he's called Gulp. The drink helps him forget the state the world is in. Interesting. It only lasts until tomorrow. The world is still doomed. Says he wants you to know he has other interests too. He's the Surf Epelago's self-proclaimed get There are other ways than a cold drink to relieve stress, even in these dark times. And fortunately for you, he can help. Watching Pippi's flap is calming, but better yet are the ones you can look at and touch, like quacks. Squeezing them is a great way to relax. Says he's not sure you can, physically. <laughs> How's that? Put squeeze on you, cur. Metal ride. Don't stay too long. Who knows what lies beneath? Okay. It's pretty cool. No cap. There's some loot here. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Need the right key? Damn it. That's not opening on its own. Always go the opposite direction where you need to be. Because you never know if there's things you can find. Let's keep it pushing. Damn it.
Might as well take the whole container, like. See this whole container, like. Bullet Spino Projector. It's a weak ass weapon, but it got a larger clip. Hmm, interesting. Ultimate melee weapon, superb blue bio blab container, Google Glide Rex box, and all that other stuff. I'm, I'm gonna keep looking around, let me know. I'm gonna modify and do some stuff to it. that real quick uh put it towards that melee hmm mine's better over a gadget you need to line up this the one. switches so they match Just a few moves left. Make them count. Huh. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the act. The actuators. No, that was the bullshit. Oh, yeah, that was the door. Turn the goop. Gonna pull up on your gut. Oh, the gulp and I'm tweaking. Open it up and see what it's got. I like the look of that so far. It look nice. I like it. Let me get off this quick. We are balanced, baby. Let's see what's over here. I'm, I'm curious. Did, did I get it? Interesting. Gulp says he'll bibble anything once, as long as it's drinkalicious, even rocket fuel. He once mixed up some tankers and drank that. It was a real liftoff. That leads him to the bottom of that particular bottle, radium syrup. If only he could find a tanker truck to empty. He's not in a state to go looking, so he's counting on you to help. Go find him a tanker truck and bring back some of that precious radium syrup. 
Thinks you're not the only one who... What were we talking about again? Man, just be drinking anything. He would be drinking like a tub juice full of ass. That man do not care. Oh my gosh, I'm not trying to get that guy. So what? So what do we gotta do? All right. So Google Live, return to Goop. It's fast travel. Fast travel. Hey, my man. The thing that threw me in the water was good. That's enough quacks to sustain the Google Live flipper with infinite ammunition. Goop says he was there when the Porky Puff took out of Date's leg, so this world eater has made it personal. Okay. After that, out of date started using his head instead of his legs and came up with the plan on how to best make a stand against the world eaters and it wasn't by foot that's how he got tasked with rebuilding the googlide he seems happy to talk You need to help Goop defeat the Porky Puff before it destroys. Says you see. He seems happy to talk. i ain't trying to talk to him. I'm trying to leave. Damn. Anyways, you have to defeat the Porky Puff. Uh, I guess that's what we would do next, and then hit these uh, rival tribes. But other than that. I'm gonna have to end the episode here. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share if you enjoyed. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Deuces.